Hey everyone, what's up? Today we're going all out on Sangred, the platform that makes email campaigns not just easy, but actually enjoyable. In the next few minutes, we are going from zero to hero, setting up your account, authenticating your domain, creating your sender identity, and setting out your first email campaign, all from the Sangrid dashboard. Let's go. First things first, let's get you signed up. So open your browser and head to Sangrid and hit the sign up button. There we go. And that will be right here. Sign up now. All right, so if you don't have a credit card, that's not a problem. Just enter your email and a password, or you can use uh, the quick one click uh, with Google. And once you sign up, you have your free SendGrid account. All right, so all you have to do is fill in this form with your first name, your last name, your email address. You can choose any password you like. Click on verify you're human and click on terms of service. And then you can go ahead and hit continue. And once you're in, you search for a verification email in your inbox. You click the link and then you're in the system. And if you're already a part of the same good family, then just high five yourself and let's go to the next step. Great. So this is your SendGrid dashboard. And now let's talk about making your emails appear legit. So authenticating your domain is sort of like wearing a badge of honor that says to email providers, Hey, I'm the real deal in the SendGrid dashboard. You want to head over to settings, go ahead and click on settings and then click on sender authentication. Okay. Click get started. And here you choose your DNS host. I already have mine set up on GoDaddy, but you can choose whichever host, uh, you'd like, and then keep this as no click on next. All right, so you can go ahead and enter your domain here and it will remove the via sanguine.net text. Um, you can choose, let's see, Jack, uh, tan test domain dot com and you can see the changes here and you leave the advanced settings as is and when you click next you'll be given dns records uh, that's cname or txt or both to add to your domain's dns settings it does sound a little bit geeky but believe me it's pretty easy so let's move to our godaddy uh, website. And then here we're going to search for our domain name. Um, that was Jack .com. And then you can go ahead and purchase your domain name, make it yours. And then when you go back to your dashboard or your accounts page, you should see your domain uh, name under this list. All right. So after that, you want to click on manage and then domain. Great. And here we're going to hit uh, DNS and then add new record. You're going to choose what type of record it is, a CNAME record or TXT record. Let's go with CNAME and then you enter uh, the name and the value exactly as it is um, in Sanguid. And after adding each record, click on save and then uh, you will have to wait a little while for it to propagate. Uh, it could be a half hour or even sooner um, but just try to be as patient as possible all right so once those records are saved head on back to sangrid and then there will be a verify button uh, you can go ahead and click on verify so your domain will be authenticated 
and your emails will be much more likely to land in the inbox and not the spam folder. So if you're not rocking your own domain, not a problem. Uh, you can still set up a single sender identity. Uh, let's try that. Great, so click on get started with our single sender verification. All right, so here you'll enter your name, let's say Jack, and here the from address tells your audience who's emailing them. And if you authenticated your domain, then you're set to use any email from that domain. Uh, like, let's see, uh, used clothing at, uh, the domain was Jack Tan uh, test domain dot com. All right. And then reply to, all right. So for the reply to field, it's perfectly fine to use your from email address. Uh, if that inbox is, uh, actively monitored, um, if you have a dedicated support or, um, customer service email, uh, for example, you can use support at jack 10 tests domain.com. All right. So the key is ensuring that replies are directed to an address you check regularly. All right. So then we move on to company address. You can enter that there, uh, select state. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's see, Illinois zip code, uh, country, United States, and you can use a nickname. Uh, let's see, Jack Sparrow. Okay. No, just kidding. Let's see Jack Tan. All right. And then all you do is hit create and then you should have your single sender um, identity. Now for the part we've all been waiting for sending your first email campaign on your dashboard, navigate to marketing and then single sends option. And then we're going to create a single send. All right. So here's where we select a design and we can choose a blank template, uh, to create your very own designs. Um, or you can choose, uh, a pre-designed template, uh, from Sangrid and there's a lot to choose from, uh, but let's just choose, let's just select blank template and then let's go to our design editor. Okay, great. So once you're in your editor, you can go ahead and type in a single send name, um, choose a sender from uh, the drop down. That's the name that your recipients will see, uh, type in a subject, and then you can select, uh, the list of contacts that you wish to send the message to. If you are simply testing, then you can upload a list or add your own email address, uh, just as a test run. All right. So here's where your creativity comes in. Uh, click on bill and here you can add image. You can drag and drop your image here, upload it. Um, you can also add text. There we go. Uh, you can change the style, the font, the size, the color, and so forth. And then you can also add a button and let's say, uh, click for more information. Here we go. And then you can add the URL to that, uh, change the color. Uh, let's go with, uh, there we go. You can use that. All right. And then you can double check it all with a preview and you can switch to mobile view as well, plain text, 
and we'll keep it at desktop and just make sure that the sender and recipients and design are all on point. Then you can hit that uh, send button or you can also schedule if you prefer a time release. So once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and hit review details and send and your email will be striking inboxes all around the world within seconds. And you did it. You're now an email marketing pro. Now that your campaign is out there, uh, you can check how it performed. Uh, you can click on stats, click overview. You'll find all the cool stats, uh, open rates, click through rates, uh, bounces, unsubscribes, and so on. It's like having your very own performance dashboard for your emails. And if your open rates or clicks aren't where you like them to be, you might consider tweaking your subject lines or call to action buttons for next time. Bear in mind, each campaign is a learning experience. So keep optimizing and iterating. All right, just a quick tip. Uh, SendGrid integrates easily with popular platforms like uh, WordPress, Shopify, and Zapier. So as you scale your operations, remember that you can easily uh, plug SendGrid into your existing tools to streamline your entire email process. Now, before we wrap things up, a quick note on SendGrid's pricing. Let's click on C plans and pricing. All right, so the free plan lets you send up to 100 emails per day. And that's great for testing and small-ish campaigns. And as your email game grows, uh, you might want to consider upgrading to a paid plan, uh, which will unlock higher sending limits and advanced features like uh, priority support, uh, sub-user management, and even a dedicated IP address. So you get to decide, uh, start free, and upgrade when you're ready to go big. And there you have it, your complete guide to using SendGrid to uh, power your email campaigns from start to finish. So we set up your account, uh, authenticated your domain, verified your sender identity, and created uh, an engaging campaign. And we even dived into the analytics. So if you found this tutorial helpful, uh, smash that like button, hit subscribe for more tech guides, and drop a comment below if you have any questions or a tip to share. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep pushing those boundaries and stay innovative. Have an epic day.